What do you think about the bean sprout? Huh? What do you think about the bean sprout? <laughs> you want me to run your video? <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Adam here. Welcome to another episode of Honest Hotel, where we go around places checking into hotels, resort, retreats, and even A, B, and B. For this episode, we are heading up north to the city of Ipoh. Originally started as a tin mining village, it has become quite a tourist attraction, especially when it comes to food. Ipoh is also considered the hipster capital of Malaysia. Surrounded by limestone hills, it has a lot of natural wonders such as caves, lakes, hot springs, and rivers. I invite you guys to come on this journey with me. For our first stop at Ipoh, we are at Tenchun. This restaurant is famous for its shredded chicken kui tiao noodle. One of Ipoh's signature dishes, it is a staple breakfast for both locals and tourists. Be sure to get here early to avoid disappointment. Well, the best thing about this dish is probably the broth, which is cooked in prawn stock. Oh my god, I'm liking it already. Mr. Penang, everything is better in Penang. What do you think about this thing? This what do you think about this? this the one thing that associate with Ipoh the most, especially within the international community, it's it's white coffee. The coffee got its name from the use of condensed milk that is added into the brewed coffee. The beans itself are also produced differently as they are roasted with margarine that produce a caramelized taste. As a coffee holic myself, I'm really honored to be in one of the top three coffee town named by Lonely Planet. This is restaurant Sin Yun Long. It's not that sweet, it's just well balanced and quite tasty actually. And the reason why I ordered the bread is to soak it in the coffee and eat it this way. And right opposite the shop, you will find Nam Hyung Restaurant, the birthplace of the iconic Old Town White Coffee franchise in Malaysia. We are now at Concubine Lane and we are about to have this dessert called Tau Fa 
or in English term, soya bean curd. Let's go in and check it out. So for both of us, we ordered two different types of dessert. Uh, mine is a longan soya bean dessert which is cold and Achilles is having the tau fu fa with white uh, sugar. You can also opt for ginger sugar as well which give it, give it like a sort of distinctive taste to it. Concubine Lane has become quite a tourist spot. History states that a rich mining tycoon built this lane for his three wives. It is now transformed into a vibrant colourful alley that tourists visit to buy local products and indulge in street food. Be sure to check out Kong Hin Square as well to capture some Instagrammable pictures. It has an external design blending in both colonial architecture and use of flora. And while you are there, head below of book access to admire this bookstore that was previously a safe deposit bank. This is Kinta Riverfront Hotel Superior Room. It is a spacious 36 square meter big with a river facing view. The room has a classic modern hotel design with all the amenities at your disposal. It comes with a big working desk and a comfortable seat with high speed Wi Fi connection for your business needs. Do bring a universal adapter to connect all your electronic devices. The washroom has a single basin with rinsing cup and all the necessary bathroom amenities. You may unwind and relax in this big bathtub or take a shower with two usable shower heads. Have a pleasant stay at Kinta Riverfront, Ipoh. So we have finally checked into our room after our tour at Old Town Ipoh. Now we are all freshened up and ready to go. I'm really hungry right now so it's time to eat again. Let's go to a restaurant that is only 5 minutes away from our hotel. Apart from white coffee, Another iconic Ipoh dish that people will come far and wide to enjoy is bean sprout chicken rice. Emphasizing on the bean sprout is just overall juicier, fattier and crunchier. It is said, it is said that uh, the water surrounding Ipoh with its less polluted environment that result in producing these delicious treats. Is this your first time having uh, bean sprout chicken rice at Ipoh? Uh -huh. uh, your very first time? Uh -huh. Then uh, the signature is obviously, is obviously the beef sprout. Give it a try. Is there normal beef or is there normal? So what do you think? What do you think about the beef sprout? Huh? What do you think about the beef sprout? <laughs> do you want me to ruin your video? Say <laughs> ah! <laughs> 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 Good morning guys, it's the next day now. We had a great night's sleep and now we are ready to explore more of Ipoh. But before that, let's go down to the fourth floor to eat breakfast.
The breakfast spread includes a wide variety of local dishes with international selections. It is a good opportunity for you to try many of Malaysia's popular breakfast choices from its multicultural society. There are various cooking stations with chefs who will cook up a meal for you fresh on the spot. Be sure to try a few of them like I did as recommended by the friendly staff. Kinta Riverfront Hotel is located at the commercial hub of Ipoh, right in front of the Kinta River. It is a four-star property that consists of hotels and bedroom apartments. It also houses uh, three restaurants and one bistro. So let's go and check out the hotel lobby and the facilities available. The newly renovated gym is located on the 5th floor with a view overlooking the Kinta River. You will find the Mermaid Infinity Pool next to it with an open patio where limestone hills are visible. Due to the geographical location, Ipoh and its surrounding area has more than 30 cave temples. This is Kek Lok Tong. It has a big cavern with plenty of stalactite hanging off the ceiling. And at the end of the cavern, you will find a picturistic garden together with two lakes. Locals like to come to this award-winning landscape garden to exercise and to enjoy the scenic view of this place. The temple started as a place of worship as early since the 1920s. The cave is made up of white crystalline limestone with visible iron ores within the walls. The central cavern has a number of Buddhist figures and various deities of the Chinese pantheon. Entrance is free and everyone is welcome to visit this temple. Be sure to walk around at the Zen Garden as locals believe that it will change your fate for the better. While you are there, enjoy the breathtaking view of a depicted heaven on earth. Alright guys, I just want to put it out there. I'm really, really, really excited about what we are going to have for lunch. Cannabis rice, or locally known as nasi ganja. So basically, there's actually no marijuana here, 
but this is so delicious that people are addicted to this kind of rice. Some said that the poppy seed that they use for the curry is actually a factor, but authorities say that it's safe to consume and it has no effect on addiction. The main ingredients consist of their deep fried red chicken. The rice will then be bathed with an assortment of different types of curries and half of a salted egg is added onto the dish. An addictive combo you will definitely crave once you try it. So let's give it a try. This is actually even my first time coming to this place and my first time trying this dish. So let's see how good it is. Okay, I can definitely see why this thing is so addictive. The aroma, the taste is just like a, a burst of uh, everything that is going on happening in your mouth is just like awesome. And it's actually quite spicy, so those of you who do not eat spicy, please do take note. Uh, ask them not to put too much sauce into this, but it's definitely worth coming to give it a try. Oh my god guys, we ate so much food for the past two days, we are ready to go back for more. Ipoh is really really a good town to go for a food tour. Please do like our channel, subscribe and check the description below for more information. We are actually already at our next destination right now. I'll show you guys more in a coming episode. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys later.